Day 91 of drawing every single day in 2021. The, the real one, not the April Fool's one. Today we are continuing with the Tea Party series and adding a snake. I've been planning to add like a three-tiered cake right here for a while. And for whatever reason, the idea of having a snake wrapped around a cake just sounded really cute. Oh gosh, I'm trying to make it so he's like wrapping around the cake so his little head will pop up on top, but I don't know how good it's actually going to look. Okay, no, this is definitely cute. And this little snake drawing would absolutely not be complete unless we gave him a little party hat. And there he is. Look how excited he is for this tea party. Today we're going to add the last of the like tabletop accents to our tea party series, starting off with a regular teapot. How have we not done just a teapot sitting on this tea party table yet? Ah. We are definitely starting to run low on space on this table, so I figured today would be a good day to finish off what room we did have left. I will again be tagging the people that I saw who commented these other items in the comments. Alright, so I added the teapot, a glass of lemonade, and some macaroons. We are adding some characters under the table. Somebody had suggested doing a squirrel that was just running across the table, and as cute as that is, I really think that that would make everything a bit too chaotic, so I decided to put it under the table. I also have a friend who has a German Shepherd, and she requested one of those as well. Plus, I have seen several other comments asking to add a dog under the table. So the last of the large characters for this table are a squirrel watching the ants and a German Shepherd puppy closely watching that squirrel. This is the last day for adding to the Tea Party series. It is bittersweet, but we have come to the end. So we are finishing off this drawing by adding some teacups and a few other little items. Drawing the line art for all of this is going to be so much work. Okay, those are way too small. Much better. Someone also pointed out that I didn't have anywhere that had just like tea bags for people to make their tea. So that's what I'm attempting to do here. I think those are going to be about as close as I get to looking like little packets of tea. Somebody suggested that I put a little spider crawling on top of the cupcakes and I loved that idea. I just think that the cupcakes are a bit too busy. So instead I'm putting him by the flower, so it's like he brought that. I added a few bumblebees, and this is done. We're going to start outlining all of the Tea Party series. Just a quick reminder, this is what it looks like. So I'm going to be working on basically drawing all of this again, but in pen. Because of how many details are in this drawing, there's a good chance this is actually going to take me a few days to do. So my plan was to have today be focused on outlining and then just do the rest of it off camera and do other drawings for the rest of the days. Rather than having like three days dedicated to just outlining. Yeah, this is going to take a while. Today I'm just going to be doing some outlining on the Tea Party series. None of you gave your suggestions on whether I should include this as a video or not. And today kind of got away from me. So we're doing some outlining. This is really all I've gotten outlined so far, but we're gonna just keep working our way down the table. The level of detail that I put into these ants, I'm like actually surprised about. And now that I'm outlining all of them, I'm realizing just how much detail I put into the ants. If you watch this video, make sure you start commenting what colors you want certain things to be, because some of these I'm taking is first come first serve requests. And like, if you wanna give any of the characters names, by all means go for it. Except for the two dogs. Those are based on real-life friends' animals, so those names are already taken. We are officially starting coloring the Tea Party series drawing. It looks a little different because I actually took it out of my sketchbook. But we are coloring the main guy today. Starting with these ants climbing up the table leg. Somebody wanted the ants in rainbow order, so there we go. The question is, should we continue the ants in rainbow order on the table or make them a different color? And we also had the suggestion of the octopus resembling the emoji. Base color is down. Attempt some shading. All right, I think I got a little close. We are continuing coloring the Tea Party series, and 
the amount of people that want this hippo to be purple with a pink tutu is honestly a little overwhelming. Also, a couple people called her an elephant and a polar bear? I mean, I know my drawings aren't that good, but it's better than thinking she's a polar bear. She doesn't look like a polar bear, Julie. She doesn't look like a polar bear. We got the base color, secondary color, and my meager attempt at shading. Now for the skirt. Okay, the final product did turn out a little darker purple than I really wanted it to, but I'm still pretty happy with it. I also saw a comment suggesting light blue on the skirt, so I did that too. Today we are adding more color to the Tea Party series, starting off with a ginger cat. Also, it is currently snowing outside, and I'm angry. I want to make him orange and white combined. Okay, there's kind of what I'm working with so far. Okay, I think I'm pretty happy with him. The white turned a little more gray than I wanted it to, but that was the only way I could think of to give that area any depth. It literally looks like December outside. Now I'm going to do this poodle and this German Shepherd. And these two are inspired by real-life dogs. Meet Micah and Willow. Starting off, we're going to color in Mr. Micah. Okay, not an exact replica, but best I could do. I still think he's cute. Now on to Willow. Head done. Now I just gotta poke it at the rest of her. Okay, again, not perfect, but I'm pretty happy with it. We're gonna just do some of the basic chairs and tables and miscellaneous little things. I'm thinking that this Tea Party series, the coloring aspect of it, is only gonna last a few more videos. So if you have suggestions for things that you really want to be a specific color, make sure you leave them in the comments, because I'm going to start doing a lot of coloring in each one of these videos to finish this up pretty soon. All. Most. Oh my goodness, that took so long. Okay, now to give the chairs a little more definition. Alright, I detailed the chairs a little bit more, and I'm going to leave the table as it is right now. I know it's really, like, liney and it doesn't look great, but I'm going to save detailing the table and trying to add, like, shadows of things and whatnot until the very, very end. So it'll, for now, it'll just look like that, but it'll look better by the time it's done. Today we are continuing on with the Tea Party series, adding color to almost all of the large characters. And there's going to be a lot of rainbow, because that's what you guys wanted. Starting off with the little tablecloth on the mouse's table. And there we go. Next up, we had a request for some purple flowers. I'm going to finish the coloring this in with just a nice light pink pot. And speaking of light pink, somebody wanted the sloth to be light pink, so that's next. I intended the hippo to be light purple, and we, we all see how that turned out. Not with you, sloth. You will be different. Sloth is done, but I don't know what color to make her apron or that towel, so suggestions would be greatly appreciated. Back to the rainbow, we have the giraffe next. Next up is the bear, and somebody wanted that to be a dark blue. And finally, the pangolin colored like the rainbow fish. And this is how it looks so far. I ran out of time in my previous video to give you any sort of close-ups of the drawings, so I figured I'd just do a really quick bonus video so you could actually see what I colored in a little more detail. So this is the entire picture. I colored in that tablecloth rainbow, that sloth pink, those flowers. I made this whole bear a dark blue. I made this giraffe rainbow, and during drawing realized I never gave her a mane, so I attempted to do that with the colors. Don't really think it turned out. I might try tweaking that later. I might leave it. I don't know yet. And the pangolin as a rainbow fish design, which I actually really like how that turned out. I think it's pretty cute. I am going to be adding more color to this today. Again, I will comment people that I saw who suggested these colors in the comments below. And for the sake of time, I'm just going to show the before and after of each one rather than explaining them. First is this little spider. And after. Now we're going to do the snake and the cake. So cute. On to the mice. There they are. These I'm excited for. I love it! And now the remainder of the ants. Rainbowed. And finally the sloth's apron. All done. We are completely finishing the Tea Party series today. And I came this close to forgetting to draw today entirely. So, here we are. A couple things were suggested by people, and I will comment those names in the comments of the specific suggestions. Everything else I am coloring in my own colors, so let's get started.
And here is the final Tea Party series. Completely completed. You can turn your phone if you want to see the whole thing in one shot. I learned a lot, and I am excited to keep drawing and coloring and learning even more. I just made my very first batch of coloring pages with this Tea Party series that I did. So here are all of them running through. They are on my Etsy shop. The link is in the description of this video. If you get them and you color them, please tag me on all different social medias because I would absolutely love to see them.